Okay, guys, I restarted. Um, it just was like the the chat had froze and nothing was moving and I wasn't getting any response. So I said, well, I'll just start a new one. So hi, Mary Hill. Samantha O, Laura's here, Allie K, Kendra, Mina, Holly. You could see and hear me. Yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't see any, the chat just was not moving. So I thought maybe I'd been lost into the YouTube live void. I'll give everybody a chance to get over here. Present, Roy says. <laughs> so since I'm sitting here waiting, I've got a cat in my lap, of course. He's like, please, mama, please open another can. You need to go get in your bed again and behave. He and Howie, the great big cat, have um, decided that they need lots of extra attention. So I don't know if there's been some kind of critter around that they don't get along with or what. Tippy. Yes, Tippy. He's... He's a brat. All right. Did Mary um, find us again? Yeah, I just restarted because I wasn't seeing anything in chat. So I thought I'd lost you guys. There she is. She says here. All right. I'm going to give you the next prompt. I think most everybody's here. We're, we're up to 24 and I think we were at um, 29 or 30. So I think most everybody's found their way over here. Okay. Um, so that was the scrape the yellow. Prompt six, stencil. So stencil with something. And I know the stencil I want to use. I just have to find it. Weird. I know I have the Tim Holtz leaves. There it is. So got the leaves and then I've got the little whirly gig things. Y'all ever seen those? We get them off the, I think they're off the poplar trees. So I'm going to put some of these on here.
Yep, Mary made it over. I saw her. She said here. I'm sure she's doing her page as a video or whatever she's going to make out of it. I don't know who's doing pages and who's doing backgrounds. I might just use the same sponge and all the different colors. So let's put some of these leaves on here. Oh, this one's not been open. Let me get another one. I watched NCIS on CBS.com today. Since we don't have TV, I watch everything online. I'm going to go through my stuff and fix up Happy Meal packages again to just send out. Some of this is not sticking down. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Yeah, I know they brought Ziva back. I was wondering about that when they said that when they, the episode aired where she supposedly died. Um, because they never found a body in the, in the, the building. Now Tony's doing bull, so who knows what they'll do with that. <laughs> Goodness, TV shows. I always try to remember to work off the page, too, so it looks like it continues on. This sponge has probably got enough paint to do the rest of the page. <sighs> this 
stay tuned for Tippy's Tippy's musical performance on the mini blinds. Tippy's playing now. Can you hear the blinds over the air conditioner? Doesn't usually go back out once he's in, but that's what he wants to do. I'll let him go do it. He sits there and he goes, bum, 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 bum. Pump, pump. It's very annoying at like 5.30 in the morning. You know, we don't go to bed sometimes till 2 o'clock in the morning because Scott gets home late. Leaves! I have leaves! A live performance by the renowned Tippy. Yes! This is true. You want to go outside? He says, no, I want candy cat food. Fresh. Okay, he's warming down. I'm going to give him a fresh can. He's like, all right. I eat it all. Every drop in the old can. I am so owned. It's not even funny. So owned. Cat owns me. All right. All right, is everybody done stenciling? He's such a rotten little brat. He knows it. He's out there just grinning. All right, Mary's ready. Prompt seven, add a grid. And I'm just gonna use, um, a card and some brown paper and just do a simple grid on here. Kind of like a trellis. Old cheap craft smart paint. Up. <laughs> That's okay. I'm ahead. Of, I'm ahead of myself on my stencils. I was going to use the leaves later, but they're already on there. It's all right. And because I've got the um, that paper on here. You know, the, the card isn't making complete lines, so you end up with this really cool looking crosshatch stuff going on. Kind of like that. Makes it look like it's got burlap. And I'm going to turn it so I've got <laughs> the 
the lady Scott works with, he works with a lot of ladies because he, he's the, about the only electronics technician there in the evenings that can um, troubleshoot problems down to the component level. And they all tell him, yes, sir. <laughs> it cracks him up. But they have given Howard a last name. They call him Howard Huge, like Howard Hughes. He's Howard Huge. I said he wish he was as, as rich as Howard Hughes. All right, I got my grid on. Arlene, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I'm going to dry this and see if anybody else pops up with a ready here in a minute. Hi, Sherry. We are on prompt seven. No, we are on prompt eight. We just did prompt seven and a dirty dozen, which is 12 prompts. You feel better now? Got some food in your tummy? A fresh food? They don't, they wanted to know who made you rotten. Huh? Who made you rotten? He is so dirty. All right, Laura is ready. Now, this is where I've got ahead of myself. Um, prompt eight was add leaves. So I've already put leaves on, and technically I used a different stencil for the little things that floaty down. Little airplanes is what Greg called them when he was little. So I've already added leaves. Is there an alternate I could do? Add lines or dots. Um, no, no. Don't, don't tear my paper towels up just because you can. All right. I'm going to add some dots with gold, I think. If I can find the gold pen I want to use. I'm telling you, it does you no good to clean up because then you can't find anything. This is not the one I wanted. No, 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 buddy. No, that's wet. He says, I'm tippy. I can go where I want to. Well, I'm not seeing what I thought I had. So, tippy do. Shall we make dots with something else? I thought I had this one. I'll just make dots with white. Buddy. Don't puke on me, bud. That would be gross. Buddy, that's my chair, honey. 
Come here. You are just the rottenest beast. Hi, Tanya. All right, come on, lay down. Hi, Esther. Let's see if I can make some dots. Didn't say they had to be huge, obnoxious, large dots. I'll be done and I'll look at chat and catch up with you guys. Uh oh, I think I'm, my thing is about out of out of paint. It's not letting down anymore. I tried refilling these; it just didn't work for me. I think it's empty. Well, that might be enough little dots. Might need to order some more. <sighs> Man, I wish I could have some something below 90. It was 100 degrees here today. It was cooler down at the house for a change than up here. All right. Where'd my list go? Tippy, the list is now on the floor behind me. And you have settled in really well. Oh, razzle dazzle. Why are you so needy? Huh? Why are you so needy, boy? Oh, felt like 105, they said, was the heat index. I'm ready for fall. Oh, and rain? We haven't had rain in months. Ooh, we'd love some. All right, I'm going to call the next one, you guys. But I'm going to hold it. Till I cut these apart. Add border. You can attempt to add your border now if you'd like to, but I always want to cut mine up. Yeah, we, we have a 40% chance of rain next Monday, and I don't think it showed us getting any cooler for quite a while. So prompt nine, add border. Tippy, you're making this really difficult. All right. Sure. 
trying to think of how I can do the next prompt without bothering the, the little, little monster in my lap. They seem to think I spoiled you. What do you think? So since I'm holding that, adding a border till after I cut mine apart to make them into postcards or cards, I'm going to tell you what 10 is and then y'all go from there and that's add black. So see, I've already done lines. I think I might just splatter with just a little bit of black to put little black dots here and there like you see on leaves. All right, honey, I got to go get the black paint. You are just the sweetest little boy. You're just a baby, right? Tell them. See, I'm just a baby. Just a just baby. Just a baby. brush and we need black paint. Right, I'm going to try to put him in his bed again. He's like a toddler that won't stay in bed. Oh, good night, Tanya. Thanks for stopping in. I just spritzed a little water in there. I think I'm going to need a little bit more. I don't think that's going to do. It's doing too big a drops. Got way too much mixed up. I know you don't want to disturb them when they're like comfy and he was sacked out like a like a baby that just ran all day which he probably has been over in the field running all around I'm going to try this thing again here nope ticking me off I'm just going to open it up and get the baby wipe out that way man I can't imagine being a mother with a messy child trying to get a baby wipe out of that box Susan must have gone thrifting or something. Or a yard sale or something. That's cool. All right. Oh, Lord. I just splattered with black and, oh, boy. I forgot splatter is another prompt. 
Okay, so now y'all know another prompt. So I added black splatter. That was, the black was 10. I'm going to dry this a bit. Okay. Ooh, yes. Okay. Thanks, Mina. All right. I'm going to give you guys the last two prompts so you can figure out when you'd like to do them. And if you don't want to do either of these two prompts, because we only have the two left, you do um, either an alternate that I've listed earlier or do your own thing. So the last two prompts are doodle and splatter. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get some gold. And um, I think I might have some red uh, metallic too that I might splatter. But I'm going to do some more splattering. And then I'm going to um, dry them good, cut them apart, then do my doodles. Or I might do my doodles before. I don't know. I'm going to splatter with the metallics first. And I'm going to put these up while I'm over there. be getting that black out of that paintbrush. Let me go rinse these paintbrushes properly so I don't have black in the Rinse that out. I'm just going to reverse mine and do the splatters and then do the doodles. Or should I? Should I doodle now? Should I doodle first or splatter first? Doodle, splatter. Doodle or splatter? Go for it, Sherry. Green metallic would be cool. Or green. No. 
if you splatter, you'll have to doodle with the Posca. Well, if I doodle with the Posca and then splatter, I think I have some green too. You skip the doodle. So I was just gonna where my little squares are in my thing I glued down. I thought I might go around in some of those. And of course, I'll probably do a doodly border around the outer edge. I was thinking after I cut them apart, I might paint a pumpkin on each one. What do y'all think? Should I paint a pumpkin? A white pumpkin. Oh, that would be cool. Some of it, I can't see where the squares are in a lot of it because I've got so much stuff on here. Really? The skin is extra hard on the white pumpkins? See, I never would have thought that. It would be, you know, any different. That's Maybe that's why the grocery stores always um, just paint those that are like that. I think I'm going to let the rest of that go. See, I doodled. You don't have to add a lot to, to doodle. So now I want to splatter with these metallic colors. Let me um, I'm gonna set that aside. And I've got copper. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. And green. Thank you, Mina. And gold.
All right, let's see what we do. Let's see how much I get on my computer. I'll do the gold first. It does not like the water. You can't really see it on there. Thanks, Kathy. The green you'll probably be able to see show up, but. Now I'll need a uh, fall quote to put on here, won't I? Or, or just do the pumpkin in one corner. <laughs> Mina, you're silly. Rearrange some things here. Oh, hi, Ellen. Welcome. And that's funny about the pizza. <laughs> it does kind of look like a pizza, doesn't it? I'm going to turn it into fall postcards. I really like the size Mary does. The um, I think it's three and a half by five. I think that Mary does. I might measure one of Mary's postcards. I think three and a half by five is the smallest you can go. I think to mail a postcard to Canada is a dollar Mary postcards are five and a half by three and a half okay I'm, I'm going to see if I can cut this into that um a postcard to Canada, is it a dollar fifteen? Is that right? Has anybody seen Barb Filion? I wanted to ask her if her package got to her. I, I think she said it did, but I can't I couldn't remember and I was gonna ask her again because I had mailed her her, her package. I wonder if that's dry enough that I can cut these into five and a half by three and a half postcards. How green will my finger get? Still green. Ooh, the camera doesn't like the metallic paints at all. I'm gonna dry a little bit longer. No barb tonight. Maybe she's had a long day. I know they've been putting up a lot of vegetables.
And you said paint white pumpkins. Five and a half by three and a half. So if I cut this, you know, I probably, well, no. I want to do my doodling and borders before I, um, before I clear coat them. But when I clear coat, it should lock in all these pieces that keep sticking up. So there's five and a half. And we'll just push this one over and do this one at five and a half. Get this in here. All right, and that gives me a little strip to play with and make another card with. And then the three and a half this way. Ooh, what does that leave me this way? Two inch. I could make some um, twinchies out of that, that piece. All right, so when you're doing white, you have to choose some kind of color to create some shadow. So what kind of color should I use? Should I use a gray to make my shadow parts or should I use something more autumnal you know what I could do is I could stitch the ends and that would hold the paper on but I don't know if I want to put this through my sewing machine but I could put a pumpkin right there and then I could put one right here on this one and just put happy fall y'all on it <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put the border on. I'm just going to use the Posca. If I can get it back out from under this pile of stuff. Okay, Cheryl, you reminded me I haven't taken my evening meds yet either, and it's 1030 already. Where does the time go? It's like, bam, it's 1030. <laughs> no, you know, I'm not going to do straight lines because they're not going to be straight on this. I'm just going to do... Okay, so use green. That's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that. All right. So I'll just do a squiggly border. borders I was thinking about doing some private get togethers on zoom where we could just hang out and craft together one afternoon after Scott goes to work for anybody that wanted to join in. And Zoom is a conference um, program you can use to get together. It would only be for, like Mary said, we would we can do an hour for free. Whoops, I started going straight. Or we can like do an hour and then sign off and sign back on and do another hour if we want to. I have I have not even looked at that new program Steam whatever. I just haven't. And I was just thinking it would be fun to just have it where we could just have a craft a craft together session like once a month.
We'd have to pick a day to do it. Oops. See right there, it's not stuck down at all. So we'll just get some tacky glue. Looks like they are white to cream color. So maybe a cream to make the curves. Come on, get some glue up there. Here we go. Where else is it coming up? I just stuck my finger in green again. Are any of these others coming up while I got the glue open here? See, I glued down strips before I started painting. And I haven't seen Elise in here in a long time. I hope she's okay. She's in Canada. All right, so I'm going to go and get white and cream and a small paintbrush. Let's just do one at a time here. Yeah, I still got the gold here on the table, so. That's a cream, this is a buttermilk. And then this is cool white. All right. Let's see how I can do freehanding some pumpkins. I've done it before. But they were orange pumpkins. I'm just going to do the basic shape right now. I'm just trying to get the, the basic shape down with the white. Then I'll set that one aside, grab another one. We'll do another basic shape. Oh, Susan had to go. Good night.
Oh, this is sticking out. I'll have to I'll have to fix that. The um the place near us that usually sets up to, you know, for um, autumn with all the plants and stuff, they haven't set up yet. So I don't know if they're just not setting up. Because I know they had a, like, it was like they were going to go out of business and it was last fall. But then this spring, they set back up again with the spring spring and summer flowers and then it closed down so i don't know if they're going to come in later in the month maybe and set up What I love about paint is you can just change something with just the stroke of a brush. So easy. That's going to be a fat pumpkin there. Whoops, I went down too far, but that's all right. No problem. Does anybody watch this girl? Her name is Rachel uh, Makesy. She's a lot of fun to watch. She's so sweet. And she's got the most beautiful from, from a box red hair. But uh, she does cosplay and she dresses up in costume and goes to like these cartoon conventions and things like that or, or comic book conventions. But she does really, really cool theatrical makeup. See, I, I don't wear makeup, but I think it, those that can make themselves. She made herself look like Johnny Depp, you guys. It was so cool. She made herself look like Johnny Depp in um, like Dead Man Tell No Tales, Pirates of the Caribbean. It was cool. And then she went and walked around Disney like that. I was looking up, do you know that in history you could actually mail your children to your another family member? I thought that was crazy. Of course, now you couldn't do that. Somebody would steal your kid. I loved it. Somebody posted that if you want, if you've got old junk you want to get rid of this holiday season, save your Amazon boxes and put all the junk in them in a huge stack out front on your porch. And somebody would come and take them away. All right. So I've got kind of a base here. Yep, mail your kids. I'm going back to one of these I started with. Makesy, M A K S Y.
And she's got the cutest dog, too. He always wants to get right in front of the camera. Sorry, when I do these kind of things, that's why I don't do these on on a live very often because I go all quiet because I start thinking about, about it. Janet Founder. Rachel Maxey. Maxey. Maxey? And if you like to um, see people in period clothing. She does a lot of dressing like the 1940s. She likes to um, dress in different eras. I like her and I like Bernadette Banner. Bernadette Banner makes the most beautiful period clothes She had a video up about what it took to have that powdered white hair. Man, there ain't no way. <laughs> you had a this thing you put in your hair to pull your hair up and around it, and you could add you bought you could buy hair pieces to make it look like you had even more hair. And then they put this really powder powder stuff all over it. And they put grease in their hair. All I can think about is how mean people were to me about oily hair when I was in 7th and 8th grade. But my grandmother was one of these that you only take a bath once a week type of thing. And then you just wash up the rest of the week. And when I started getting acne and my hair was oily... She wouldn't allow me to take take a shower and you know wasn't my fault. I'm just building layers and I'll come back in and um Yeah, I bet they were itchy too. Just makes me itch just thinking about it. I'm going to build this up in layers. That's why I keep switching the cards. I'll do a layer on one and then switch. And that'll give that first one time to dry. And I will mail these three of these out and keep one. And I'll just randomly surprise somebody with one. How about that? I'll have to look back at the chat later and see what if y'all said anything about the Zoom. Because I know I'm sure it got lost. 
I've had my nose to the postcards, so to speak. Okay. You know, I ought to do up some fall cards for the little ones in my family and mail them to them. I bet they'd like getting mail. I might do that. There I go, going deep in thought again, forgetting to talk. Sorry. Oh, is Journey going? You love Bernadette Banner? I just love her. She doesn't, um, you know, she's got a really busy life doing all of that. Um, sewing creations and stuff. So, and she travels to England, you know, seems on a regular basis. She lives in New York City. This is just slightly darker than what I just put on. So I'm just trying to add a little bit more on here. But I watch sewing videos and I just, I watch a variety of different things. And then I watch just some young families and I like to see how different things are from when I raised kids because, you know, well, a, a kid, I did one kid. I didn't do any more than one. I looked and looked for Mary this morning and I didn't see anything and then a video popped up. So I guess it was just stuck in processing when I got up. And I made Brunswick stew this morning. Haven't tasted it. I put I put some of it in the freezer because my goodness it made a bunch. I I have enough there for us to have three lunches here at the house plus probably a couple dinners for Scott to take to work. So what I did is I I froze. I don't know how well those potatoes are going to freeze, but it has potatoes in it. I guess we'll find out. But I froze on three packages of it, three quart bags. Oh, Cheryl's leaving. Good night, Cheryl. I think I'd already said good night, but.
I love that color right there. That's um, Light Buttercream by DecoArt Americana Paint. I didn't bring anything over to make stems with. We might revisit that in a little bit. But this is what I do when I'm sitting here by myself is if I do stuff like this or if I'm painting on an envelope, I'll just put something on Netflix like old NCIS or old Law and Order, something like that. And I'll just sit here and let it play. And I just sit and work so quiet. Scott and I are really quiet people. So when we get around extended family, I'm the oldest of six kids. So when we all get together with children in tow, it is quite noisy. Oops. All right, I'm going to bring the white back on. I've been watching the on um Netflix. I've been watching that uh, the Bake Off which gets me in trouble because then I want to bake and I can't eat the stuff without my sugar going crazy which my sugar's been acting up so I'm sure she's going to make me start taking those. It's not insulin but it's a new shot they have. I'm sure she's going to make me take that. It's a once a week thing. supposed to make you puke if you eat too much. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Just sounds unnatural to me. I've been fighting it. <laughs> I always tell Scott, I said, it's called a medical practice. And sometimes I wonder if I really want them to practice on me. Especially since our our uh, doctors are teaching doctors that we go to. So half the time I have students observing. I mean, they got to learn somewhere, but. Yeah. I take metformin twice a day and um, it, it's not been doing its regular business lately, but I will admit I've been eating garbage. So it's my own fault, but I really just, I don't want another pill. It's getting to where I've got, I take seven, right? No. Eight each morning, plus the Flonase. It's just, it's like a pharmacy I have to tote with me when I go down to the house, and it's very annoying. Scott um, has refused to take any diabetic medicine because when he takes something, it, it works on him so well that he gets really sick on me. I mean, he almost passed out driving one time. So. I don't know. I'm going to talk with her. 
she's a, she's about the age of my youngest sister so it's it's like <laughs> it's like how she, how can you know enough <laughs> but she seems knowledgeable and sincere and everything a good doctor should be so we'll cut her some slack got to work with them But no, my um, morning blood glucose has been running slightly over 130, and that's a big no-no. It needs to be below 130 in the morning. But I've been trying not to eat after 7 p.m. And that has helped. I just, I don't like taking pills. I mean... Growing up, I mean, I had pneumonia, severe pneumonia in 10th grade, and I just missed a whole month of school. It's a wonder they let me go on to the next grade. This was up in New York. And um, I got down to like 110 pounds at five foot seven. I have a fairly large frame too. So 110 pounds, you could count every single rib and my my family they won't take me to the doctor they just brought they gave me that yellow triaminic oh my god i still can't stand the taste of that yellow triaminic i really and truly thought i was going to die i just couldn't eat i just laid there but that's just the way it was if you weren't like near death or it didn't involve a, a lot of blood. It's like my uncle coming in one time and he'd gone under a tree on the tractor and he got a about that big around tree branch broke out off in his forehead. And he came into the house and asked me to just pull it out and bandage it up. And I was like, I can't do it. He's, yeah, you can. Just pull it out. It's like, oh, you know, that needed to be cleaned by somebody better than a 15-year-old girl. But I got out way too much paint. I've got a clean off plate here, plate thing. Oh, it was disgusting. It was the yellow kind too. I'm going to leave the white after all. I'm going to get some of this, this gold. I guess I could do gold stems and then get a, th a thinner paintbrush and do um, the squiggly tails and some leaves with the gold too. This is awesome gold. Mary needs some of this extreme sheen and it's with the deco art, but it's just a row. So it's hard to see. I'm going to use the same brush. This is like my favorite brush to just, paint with things. So what if we do barely touching it with just a tiny bit on here. What was bad is a distant cousin was a, a doctor and they would just go to him and get a something just broke. I'll be right back, guys. Look what you've done. You broke my dish. Little brat. Now I've got to clean that up, but not while you're out there. You knocked it on the floor and broke it. It's a possum. We've uh, he's been coming and he's not very nice. He's, he gives me all kinds of foul language, but he just pushed the cat dish off the dryer. He's up on the dryer. And he pushed it off and smashed it. So, and it was a Corel bowl. 
So, you know, that stuff breaks. When it does break, you get shards everywhere. So I'll have to really clean that up good because Scott's bad about going out on the porch barefoot. I'll have to tell him, don't go out on that porch until I've had a chance to clean that up. All right, so now we need to put our stem in. Let's see here. This might take some layering to get it to to show up good. All right, I'm going to set that one aside and we'll let that dry. You're not sick until your face hits the floor. <laughs> Now, my uncle did go to the hospital when a step cousin of mine cut down a tree and it fell and my uncle didn't hear them say anything and the tree hit him and knocked him into his working chainsaw, cut him all the way across his forehead. Yeah, he went and he he got the stitches. He had layers of stitches in his in his head and he came home and was trying to do the chores. So, yeah. That, that's why I I fight doctrine real hard because it just we just didn't have the money to go to the doctor on the farm. And that's the kind of mentality I, I grew up with. I think I kind of like running that out. I might do some more of that when I get that one back. But that possum that's out there, he's, he's young or she is young and its fur is almost black. And he's just kind of obnoxious. The other day I tried to throw water on him to get him off the porch and you know what he did? He played possum. I mean, he sat in the corner for like forever and I was like, "Go away." I might have to put some gray down where the stem needs to go so that it'll show if this doesn't work layering. We'll see how it develops. Thanks, Janet. I know, it aren't, oh boy, they didn't have time to stop and deal with nothing like that, it's just a cut, jeez. Oh, I wish I could remember the name of the stuff they kept in the garage for when we stepped on nails. 
I can't remember it, but it was blue and it's a carcinogen. And I had that stuff poured in my foot uh, two or three times stepping on nails. Because, you know, I was a farm kid. We went barefoot. And to this day, I can't stand shoes. I just can't stand shoes. And I used to go around with my blanket. They called me a little engine because I had my blanket with me all the time. Some kind of blanket. I like to just have it to sit and read. I'd sit in the yard and read with my blanket. Can't do that here in the South. Or you'd get fire ants all over you. That's one thing I miss about New York. You can sit outside and not get ate up with fire ants. Mosquitoes and black flies and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but would bother you. But Didn't have to worry about fire ants lighting you up. But I think Scott and I decided retiring to a, a an area that did get a little snow might be just fine with us. All right. Let's see. I, oh, I've got one more. That one I went a little too far with the gold, but... Yeah, I know. Possums eat ticks. That's why I, I tried to run him off because how he wanted to go out there. But usually I just let them eat. But now he's broken a dish, a little brat. There's a family of skunks went through here one day. I wish I'd gotten that on video. It was so cute. It was a mama skunk with a, a whole crew, as Scott says, a crew behind her. And he said she would stop and go and make all these little noises. And I wish we could have got it on video. But they marched across the backyard, down the steps, across the side yard, into the neighbor's yard. And then she took them across the street, down in front of the neighbor's house. They were so cute. I told Sky, I said, just don't get between her and her babies or we'll have problems with smell. She'll she'll chase you off. He said, I'm not getting near. <laughs> you know, people talk, talk to us about how do you know so much about this or how do you know, you know, how do you know it's going to rain? Well... Nature gives you all kinds of signs that the weatherman never never can see or tell you. I mean, he's going by his computer models. But if you watch nature, nature tells you. I mean, the trees, if you look at the trees, when it's about to rain, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but when it's going to rain, most of the times the trees will turn their underside of their leaves up. And you'll notice that. My grandmother taught me that a long time ago. These are going to take some layering to get that gold to show. Or I need to do a base color of something else to get that to show. All right, I'm going to go back and white and clean these up a little bit. Oh, Holly, that's so cute. I remember being little thinking I could catch one and have it for a pet. My grandmother was like, don't you even try. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I added that and I don't like it. So I'm going to cover it back up. That's the beauty of paint. You don't like something? Just cover it back up and start again. I think I'm going to um, get some brown and lay a base of brown down. What do you think? Brown for the leaves and stem and stuff as a base coat? Or should I do, should I do green? I'll look at chat here in just a sec. I'm sorry, guys. When I'm doing these, I really do just get in the zone. He was warning me away last night because I stepped out there to tell him to get off the dryer. And he said... I was like, okay, okay. No problem. You can have the porch. And I made the cats stay in, which didn't make them happy because they wanted to go out on the porch to go to bed. I said, that's our space, not the possums. Hmm. The problem I'm having is the metallics are almost sheer in that the, the, the background is so intense and dark. The metallics are going to take a lot of building up unless I put something down for a base. Basically, they'll cover whatever I put down. I'll cover with the metallic. So, you won't necessarily see whatever I put down at the end. How he's knocking now, I think. Because the metallics are just not showing very good. I'm going to um, do gray. To get the stem in there.
All right. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Let that dry good. And then we'll put gold on top of it. And we should be able to see the gold better. This one, I don't think I put a stem on the leaf down there. I need a smaller paintbrush to do the the little twirly things. I don't know what you call those. Little twirly things, you know. Yes, I talked to my cats. All right. Break time for Susan. Don't jump up here, honey. I got I got wet paint. I know you want to be held. Everybody wants to be held. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, are you talking, yeah, oh, really, now, what, what is it, Howard, now, they can hear you, yeah, let me go get a finer pen. Hi, bud. How's it going? You don't have anything in, in your tail tonight that's going to poke me, do you? Why don't you go eat? Yeah, go eat. Leave me be for just a little bit longer. Let's see if I can make this one work for some more. Them curly cute things. Them things. This is that funny brush. The bristles are all kind of weird. Let's see. I'll look at chat here in just a second. Vines. That's what these are. Squirrely gigs. Yes, I am so owned, Mina. 
and how he is a talker. Haven't seen Cali Girl tonight. I saw her earlier, but I hadn't seen her, you know, tonight, tonight. And see, I'll go over this gray with the gold once these are dry. And uh, with the gray there, it, the gold should just pop. Here comes Howie. He says, Mom, Mom. Yeah. You good boy? Go! No, no, don't move. Don't move. Come here. <laughs> Come here. All right. Sit down. Sit down. You're on my lap now. Come on. Sit. Sit down. That's a good boy. Okay. You got your way. You're on me. All right. Let's see if I can fix this where you made me blob it. See what you made me do? That's what Greg used to tell me. See what you made me do? I didn't make you do nothing. <laughs> this is going to be a thick stem, Howie, because of you. All right. Is that all of them? Do they all have some squiggles on them? <sighs> Howard. There you guys. This is Howard. Hi, Yowie. You good boy. You're making your parents. Yeah. We gotta wait for the paint to dry anyway, right? So you can be on camera. Yes, you can. Oh, good boy. They call him Howard Huge at Scott's work. I think Howard Huge must weigh about 11 pounds, maybe 12. See how big he is? <laughs> he just goes and goes and goes. Last night he had a bunch of briars or something in his tail, and I went to pick him up, and they stabbed me. Oh, okay, Kathy. Thanks for staying so long. It is hard to watch the screen forever. I'm sorry I was taking so long. Sometimes it just does. And when you get kitty interruptions, it takes even longer. Yes. Let's see if I can go back to some of these others that have already sat and dried for a little bit. Before I got a lap full of very large cat here. I can get back in here. You're going to let me paint or are you going to be naughty? See, now the gold is showing up. And I can always come in with like a gold marker or something. So 
So see, there's that pumpkin there. Good night, Kathy. <laughs> yeah, Mina, we had a polydactyle cat named Nicholas from Nikolai Tesla. And he was a uh, Maine Coon with polydactyle toes. And he had the most beautiful purr. And he was a talkie, a talkie boy. This one talks when he wants demands attention. Don't you, buddy? You like some mommy time? Sometimes. He likes to be talked to, this one. This one would rather sit and let you talk to him than to really be petted. That's why we say he's Howard the business cat, because he's all business. Careful, buddy. Your nails are sharp, bud. Ow! And there goes Howard. <laughs> so I could put y'all back down here on the table where you could see what I was doing. There we go. I will probably come in and try to clean these up with a paint pen or something. To add some more bits to them. It gets too gummed up with paint. Because it's only got like six bristles in it. I know you now you want to go out. He's like, I've had a lap time. And he's a goofball. He'll get up there and stick his head all the way through the blinds instead of just playing them with one paw. He shoves his whole head into the blinds. Knocks stuff off. You know those um your shit's in my way, Karen. Yeah, that's Howie. But it's Becky and Scott. Your stuff's in my way. Yeah, can you get over here and open this door? Those Karen memes with the cats always crack us up. Let me let him out. Or he's going to keep driving me crazy. All right, you want to go? You know, wait for daddy. We'll find your sister for him. All right. Oh, Scott should be home. I didn't realize it was this late, guys. I'm sorry. I'll finish this painting this one and then I'm going to let you guys go. I didn't know it was getting this late. It's 1130 here. I'm sure Linda McAllister has drifted off into dreamland. So she can get up and listen to Mary in the morning. I need to let Mary get to sleep. If she's still here. Wouldn't blame her if she wasn't, because it's getting late. All right. Oh, got one more thing to put some gold on.
once they're dry, I'll take my marker and go on the edge like I usually do with a Sharpie just to cover the white core of it. And I may do some more doodling to um, kind of just bring everything together. But I'll let these dry good and see where, where I go. So here's the pumpkins. Let me scoop this paint up and slop it on this page I've got going in here real quick. This is just a random globs of paint. Spread it out on something, it'll dry, and then it'll be done. All right, I'm going to thank you guys for hanging with me all of this time. Sorry I've kept you up so late. Mary's here working away, she said. Cool. All right, so I'll I'll pick some of y'all, and three of y'all get a postcard from me. I'll finish them up tomorrow, and I'll get an envelope done for... Colleen in the morning while Scott's still asleep. I'll do an envelope in the morning. And I need to get Laura Richards' um, scrapbook page, which I don't think I ever showed you guys the finished page. This is the finished page I did for her. I added the fairy. And then this opens and there's a poem and it says, listen to the trees as they sway in the wind. Their leaves are telling secrets by Vera Nazarian, who's a writer. So this is going to go to Laura because she wanted people to swap just eight and a half by 11 journal pages with her. So this is going to her. And I, I love that idea of just swapping a whole page. And I put um, the glitter glue in her wings. See? So that's that. And uh, that's where I'm going to leave you guys. I need to take Bernadette outside. So I will see you guys probably tomorrow at some point. I might do something with impromptu. I don't know. If, it, if I do impromptu, it'll be about 2.30 tomorrow. Okay? Good night, Colleen. Good night, everybody. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Bye.